Hi everyone, this is Anjal Soni. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss how to create a custom apply all filters button in Tableau. When you have a dashboard with extensive data set and multiple filters, then each interaction with a filter might tax your time. In order to overcome this problem, you can use this button apply all filters. It enables you to communicate with each and every filter without having any impact on the visualization until the changes are submitted through this button. By default, Tableau does provide apply all functionality, but the disadvantage of this functionality is when you have multiple filters, that time you'll have to go and activate it specifically for each and every filter. And when you make any interaction with a filter, that time you'll have to apply it separately for all the filters that you have made use of. So uh, it's better to use a customized button which is mapped to all the filters and works with a single click. So I'll just show you that what is the by default functionality provided by Tableau. Uh, just uh, click on this arrow of your filter card and choose customize. And here you have the last option show apply button. Click on this. Whenever you make any changes in your filter card, this gets activated and then you can apply the changes uh, for uh, the values to take effect in the visualization. For now, I'm removing this. Now let's see how this button functions. In this dashboard, I have sales city wise, year wise and segment wise and I have respective filters for segment, state and year of order date. I'll uh, manually deselect uh, some of the values from these filters. So I'll remove uh, consumer from segment. Let's remove home office as well. And I'll take up California from state. California falls here, so keep an eye uh, when we um, use this button so that you are able to notice the changes. Uh, let's remove Montana. Montana falls here. Let's remove New York. New York is somewhere here. And let's remove Washington. Washington is here. Now from year of order date, let's remove 2016 and 2017. Okay, so uh, you must have noticed that so far, even if I have interacted with the filters, the visualization has not got updated. So I'll just click on this button now to take the, uh, to make the changes come into effect. All right. So you can see uh, we don't have values for New York here. Uh, there's no value for California and also for Washington, Montana. And uh, for segment, there are no values for consumer and home office. And the 2016 and 2017 years have also got filtered. So let's see how to build this button. I'll be reusing these all three sheets. So I'll start with uh, creating this button. Uh, the first step is to create a calculated field. Let's name it as apply all. And this calculated field just contain a simple text which you want to display on the button. So I want to display apply all filters. Click OK. I'll use this calculated field on rows. I'll tell you the reason why I'm using this on rows and not on text. So uh, for apply all button, um, all the filters that uh, you want to use in your dashboard uh, and also that you want to map to this button should be contained in this sheet and not the original sheet. So I want uh, filters for segment, state and year of order date. But these filters won't be here in the, in the original sheets. So you can see I don't have any filter for state here. For segment, I don't have any filter. And for year as well, I don't have any filter. 
So I'll apply all these filters in this uh, button sheet. So the next step is to bring all the fields for which you want to display the filters on the details card. So let's bring segment over detail, then state over detail. We don't need country and we need year of order date. All right. So you can see um, when I have this uh, text label activated, then it's showing me marks for uh, all the fields which are there on the detail card. And I want to hide this. So I'll change the marks card to polygon. So this will hide the details from here. That's why I have used the calculated field over rows and not on label. If I have to display it on label, then the detail for all these three fields would be visible. Uh, let's increase the height and with as well a little bit all right hide the header and let's do some formatting right okay let's change the color as well Okay, and now let's increase the uh, width of row divider and change the color to blue. Alright, so we are all set here. Now we'll add all these three fields to the filters card. So show filter for segment, show filter for state and show filter for order date. I'll just format these uh, filters right I think this should be done okay all right, so, so the uh, first segment of creating this button is done. Now the second segment is to associate an, uh, an action filter with this button. So let's create a new dashboard. Let's build the visualization. And sheet 5 over here. Drop this sheet only when you uh, see this gray mark. So that it will get aligned. Okay. Uh, bring this down here. Drop this only when you see this gray mark. This one. Okay. So I think we'll have to reduce the size a little bit. from here all right hide the title okay so uh, now we'll create an action filter. Go to dashboard menu option, click on actions, add action, filter. So our source sheet would be sheet 5, which is basically uh, the sheet that contains the button. And the target sheets would be all the other sheets for which uh, you want to uh, map the filters. Uh, we need this on select. 
and click on leave the filter or uh, don't forget to choose this option and let's choose selected fields and add the filter so we'll add all the uh, fields over here for which uh, we want the filter to get updated so i want year of order date here click ok add filter again now state click ok again add filter and this time it should be for segment click ok 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 all right so we have all the values selected here but uh, because of the impact of the previous dashboard, we have uh, the filters applied. So let's click on apply all filters. See, all the values have got pre-stored. Uh, let's give another try. I'll remove 2018 from here. Uh, let's remove... Let's remove Texas. This seems quite big. Okay. And let's remove consumer this time. Let's click on this button. You can see um, the values uh, that we had deselected from the filters have got removed from the respective visualizations. We don't have values for Texas. We don't have values for uh, consumer. We don't have values for the year 2018. So that's how you can create apply all filters button in Tableau. If you want, you can add a direction over here uh, that click on this button. So I'll just show you how you can do that. Enable title. Edit the title. and reduce the size market center and change the color let's mark it as board okay so this is pretty much for this video that's all thank you